Program Director, 20 years ago, speaking at the first sitting of Parliament as the first democratically elected president of a free South Africa, Nelson Mandela stated, and I quote, we place our vision of a new constitutional order for South Africa on the table, not as conquerors, prescribing to the conquered. We speak as fellow citizens to heal the wounds of the past with the intent of constructing a new order based on justice for all, close quote. These words mark the final death knell of an unjust political system based on race and the birth of a new constitutional order in South Africa that has inspired millions across the world. Today, we assemble to celebrate a free and diverse South Africa. We come together to celebrate a successful new order, one that lays claim to the prom promise as stated in the Freedom Charter that, quote unquote, the people shall govern. Given the fact that we are celebrating 20 years of freedom yeah. and democracy, and we are remembering how this came about, and I would like to say to <clears throat> former President Clark, and I'm sure it should be remembered since we are celebrating our 20 years of democracy, that President Clark was the last president of our faith government. And it was him and through him <clears throat> that we were able to make the breakthrough to create the conditions to create the conditions for the birth of a new democracy. Oh, yes. He was part of it. And I'm sure you'll recall that in the process of negotiations, he had an occasion, a very tough task, I must say, to be on the other side of President Mandela in the negotiations. But I think he had something more than just the positions of his party, the country. And I think on this important occasion, it is important to remember that and recognize it. <clears throat> Director of the program, we have gathered for an important occasion the launch of the 20 years of a democratic parliament program and the unveiling of the bust of our beloved founding president, His Excellency Nelson Holy Shasha Mandela. Today's activities demonstrate just how far our country has come since 1994. Just a few years ago, it would have been unthinkable to install a bus or any symbol of Nelson Holitlasha Mandela in the South African Parliament. The unveiling of this bust confirms that our Parliament, which was once a symbol of a white domination, has now been transformed into a progressive institution that upholds the values of unity, equality, freedom, and the dignity of all South Africans. As we celebrate freedom and democracy, we recall that it is this very parliament that played a key role in dismantling apartheid laws. By unveiling this statue, parliament is declaring that we will continue to walk in Tata's footsteps that we will continue to draw lessons and inspiration from his exemplary life, and that we will continue to honor his memory.
attend the choir, sing whilst